morning, everyone, and welcome back to the monthly vlog. So, it's actually July 2nd. Tell me you're tired without telling me you're tired. Yesterday, I was working so hard, I, like, completely forgot that I was even supposed to start the monthly vlogs. If you haven't already, I would really appreciate it if you would hit the subscribe button and join the family. Because we have family over here, okay? But yeah, if you guys like my videos, I would really appreciate it if you would subscribe and hit the like button. I think I don't say that enough. I would love to see this channel grow. I have coffee literally all over the lens. Just made myself my little morning coffee and I used the big keep cup. I have another one. I have this small one here, but today I used the big one because it is a tiring day. This is like my productive cup. Like if I'm just drinking coffee normally, I'll just put in like a really cute mug. But when it's in this, it's like my, it's time to get down to business cup. And also I use this one when I'm making coffee and I'm gonna go out on my walk or my run, but I know you can't tell, it is pouring outside. Definitely an inside day. But yeah, as I was saying, I had like so much work to do yesterday and this morning I woke up super duper tired, like mega tired. And also I don't feel like overworking this morning. I'm still gonna work because actually being productive makes me happy. Like I can't, I can't just do absolutely nothing. That would actually stress me out to not get stuff done. So I'm gonna have my coffee and go outside on the balcony and like read or research some stuff. And to me that is taking it easy. I don't even know if I can sit on the balcony if it's gonna be all wet or not. Ugh. Hate the rain. I would be happy if it never rains again. That's totally fine with me. But yeah, I'm gonna have a chill work morning. I'm not gonna sit at the computer for hours on end. I'm gonna go do a little bit of reading, do a little research, maybe some writing and stuff. I just don't feel like sitting in front of the computer. Probably another reason why I'm not sleeping, my brand new baby. And Duchess uh, doesn't know how to sleep at night. She literally just runs marathon. She just runs back and forth and it's so noisy. I'm like, girl. But yeah, it was so cute. At some point at night, I woke up and she was like literally next to me on the pillow. On her back, by the way. She sleeps on her back. So cute. I almost died. But yeah, she wakes up super early. She wakes up at like 6, so I get up and I make her breakfast. It is 10.55. I woke up at 10. I was like, oh, okay. The morning's gone. Still thinking about my coffee machine. Tell me it's not beautiful. Like, it's literally the most beautiful machine I've ever seen for a home. Period. But it's very, um, it takes a lot for me to get some coffee. Here's my grinder. The process. I have to take the coffee beans out and then I have to weigh them on a scale, take out the grinder, plug it up, pour the coffee beans in there, grind the beans, pour it into this little thing, which usually gets all over the place so I have to clean. Put it in the machine, turn it on, get your coffee. Clean this out, add milk and you know, whatever else you need. I don't know why, but for me, that's just a lot to do. Like I want to wake up and press a button. It's just not something I feel like should take that much work and there's such a mess afterwards so I just feel like this is this whole process it's not for me but yeah if you guys have any like easy coffee machines not like an actual I have one up there not like an actual normal coffee machine like an espresso machine so if y'all have any um, suggestions let me know I heard those like Nespresso pod things are pretty good I haven't tried one of those out yet good morning baby good morning are you running yeah, where are you running to, Snookum? Good morning, Douglas. Yay, yeah, good boy. Keep running. That's actually like my third time saying good morning to him today. Hello. I just made coffee. Yeah. Good morning. Good afternoon, almost. Oh, you're coming down the stairs? She hasn't explored downstairs yet. Don't fall being cute. Let's go. Oh, my baby. My heart. She's so cute. Oh. I'm so lucky. That's me trying to walk. Oh, you poo pooed. I can smell it. Oh, girl. Did you do a poo? Yeah. Was it a good poo? I can smell it. Yes, it stinks. You did a poo. Good girl. Out with the old. She's getting so much more fearless. Like, she just came out here like it was nothing, but it took her so long to get used to just the bedroom.
somehow I'm back in Shinjuku. I don't know what's going on. Shibuya like used to be my hangout spot, but like recently I found myself coming to Shinjuku like so often because it's kind of close to my house. I think it's just like the easy meeting spot. Anyways, very excited because we're gonna go get some ramen. Ah! All right, so this place is called Bankara Shinjuku Kabuchi Kabukicho. Let me check. Bankara Shinjuku Kabukicho. It's actually ranked as like one of the best ramen spots. So I definitely want to try it out. And I've been so good, y'all. I have not been eating ramen nonstop like I normally do. So I'm like really looking forward to this. I've come to terms with the fact that yes, I have a ramen addiction. It's fine. It's fine. You just have to like manage it somehow. So yeah, I actually haven't had any ramen all week, which is very strange for me. Like really weird. So this is like really well deserved. Here you are. Oh, never mind. Uh oh, I think that is um. Spicy. Spicy. So it is soy sauce tonkatsu base, which is soy sauce and pork. And then I got the one with like their famous stewed pork on top. It also has another kind of meat. I know it's pork, but it's like pork cooked a different way. It looks so good. So we're taking shelter. I think we're gonna go watch this movie that everybody keeps talking about just because it's raining and I need something to do. It wasn't even supposed to be raining today. Anyways, the ramen. So, yeah, um, I'm gonna give it a... I'm gonna give it a 7.5 from the ramen queen. 7.5, agreed. You too? The noodles were so amazing, very good. The dumplings were really good. The broth was good, but it just, it wasn't very traditional. It was soy sauce, tonkatsu base, like pork and soy sauce base, but it had like a Chinese twist on it. So like the meat that was stewed was like a Chinese type of pork. And it was like really sweet. I pretty much hate anything sweet. So I'm trying not to put like a biased opinion in there, but y'all know me, I just gotta give the facts. So you're getting a 7.5, but definitely people should go over there. It was really nice to have Wi-Fi. Tastes really good, it did. It just wasn't my style. Anyways, two movies. Oh, I love the smell of the movie theaters. They always have like bomb snacks. They have this soy sauce popcorn that is literally the best thing that I've ever had. It is so good. But I just had ramen. I'm like legit cool. Wow, chocolate, chocolate filled churros, rainbow churro. Cherry, no, no, apple churros. Wow, they have a lot of stuff. Oh, they got coffee. I can use coffee. Everyone has been talking about this movie. Also, my husband, Charles Melton, he posted it on his Instagram story. So I was like, yeah, I definitely gotta see that. Plus, like, anytime there's like an all Asian cast type of movie, y'all gotta support that junk. It's rare. I don't know if the cast is all Asian, but I know like the leads are. So that's important. Same with the black folks. Let's support. combination I never knew I needed. Guys, caramel popcorn and an iced latte. I don't know why, but this is so good together. Try it out, try it out. Iced coffee. You have to sit a seat apart. Isn't this the coolest invention ever? Yeah. 
just got done, but it is still raining, so we did not beat the rain. It wasn't even supposed to be raining today, so I'm kind of mad. But I'm not mad that I finally got to see that movie. It was actually good, y'all. I have zero complaints. I'm here for the all Asian cast. Can we keep this going, please? Thank you. time in Don Quixote. That place will like suck up your whole life. I swear you go in there for one thing and you don't even make it out. Speaking of that, you guys should go follow me on TikTok. I'm not very active, but I'd be trying, you know. I don't really know what we're about to do, but we really need to go back to my cat. today so I'm getting ready to like take her there. It's not a really nice place in Tokyo and Kawasaki that speak English but it's really far and I just don't want her to be in the car for that long. We're gonna go to a different place that's closer to my house. They don't speak any English. I'm just worried about her allergies. They told me she has allergies and dermatitis but we don't know exactly from what. I think it was from food, but I don't know like what in the food. Is it grains? Like what, what bothers her? Also, her eyes are so watery all the time. I'm just like, we gotta get her some kind of relief, some kind of allergy relief. Is it something I'm doing? So I've been like scrubbing the house, trying to make sure there's no dust and stuff. I don't know, but I don't like my baby suffering. So we're gonna go to the vet. to go on a road trip somewhere. This is the first time he done planned some stuff. I'm usually planning everything. It's like, yeah, I wanna go on a road trip. Did not calculate the time. No, I did, I just calculated it at the wrong time of day. See, that's why you don't get to plan it. Now we have no plan and we're off to get some food because I'm starving. I'm annoying. <laughs>
So actually I'm in Kamakura now. Pretty sure you guys know this area. You know the Shonan Beach, Shonan Jump. No? Anyways, at this curry shop, it's Sayaka's favorite. I've been here before. I don't know if you guys have saw my Kamakura vlog or I was here with the girls, but yeah, they have some really, really bomb curry and a bomb view. It's like right across the street from the beach. It's called Sangosho. Probably saying that wrong. Yum. <laughs> She's so confused. Not again. You had curry yesterday and the day before. <laughs> entryway project it it's a hot mess like look at this i don't even know the house came with this really ugly shoe closet that i want to get rid of so badly but it's so heavy i can't even nudge it and then this little situation it's a hot mess and it's completely useless so i have this little white shelf i've had this since my other apartment i freaking love it so i bought another one i'm just gonna put it right here so it's kind of like matching hopefully it looks good i know it will fit <laughs> Actually getting ready to go to work right now i'm gonna bring like my gigantic backpack because i'm gonna go grocery shopping luckily i work next to an area that has a really great grocery store so i like to go grocery shopping over there instead of in my neighborhood eating healthy good gosh especially in japan the vegetables be gone in the blink of an eye number one they don't sell fruits and vegetables in like bulk like they do in america also they don't last as long like nowhere close that cantaloupe you got in your fridge for the last two months wasn't supposed to be in there that long it wasn't supposed to last that long i don't know what it is about american food but something about it ain't food but yeah japanese bread don't last more than two days it's kind of crazy you go into the grocery store and the expiration date be like sell by tomorrow i'm like dang i ain't got no time but yeah i'm like really strict with what i eat each week because i have to actually buy the groceries for the week i can't like keep them in there for a long period of time so yeah today's basically grocery day stock up on like fruits and vegetables healthy stuff because yeah that's what i need right now if you're new to my channel your girl gained a whole bunch of weight from steroids they're finally like getting out of my system and i'm trying my best to also diet at the same time to like speed up the process i just want to go back to what i used to look like i'll fill you guys in on that in another video anyways i need to go to work the cat is playing with something wow Sleeping pills. Well, that's safe. work and I'm done grocery shopping. I have like this gigantic backpack. I'm going to treat myself to some macarons. I had these last week and I was literally mind blown about how good it was. Like, oh my God. And they're so cute. They're decorated so nicely. This place is called Mamaron Tokyo. Macarons for a job well done. Just look at these though. <laughs> 